afternoon YTPC just thought I'd call in to say uh, the tragedy is not quite as dramatic as in my last video apart from the uh, colour of the cushions and um, my wife's name most other things seem to be very much similar in this timeline my bank account was slightly better, my wine cellar also slightly better, but most things were, were slightly better. I'm sure my wife is two or three years younger, so uh, oh, I think I'll stick with it. It's close enough, you know. I don't know what happened to the guy in this type line. Um, I think that the wormhole has collapsed so that was the problem. Stephen Hawking said that wormholes are inherently unstable. That's true. But I thought I had stabilized them. Black hole is doing well up here. Perfect. So uh, I've worked it out. I have to lock I have to lock the point at which I left in the coordinates and that's where I went a bit wrong plus the wormhole was unstable so next time I'll take a temporal corridor which is uh, more ancient and stable so uh, don't worry don't worry it's all alright you know to help me think all of that out um, I got a ton of tobaccos recently and took a, a letter out of the book of uh, Eric the Blue Collar Piper who says, you know, get bulk tobaccos, it's a much better deal, he's dead right. For sometimes two fifty to four dollars you can get uh, the equivalent of two ounces um, so half or sometimes a third the price that you pay for a two ounce tin, you know. And um, of course the shipping is a bit less because there's no weight of the container and the other book I took a, a leaf out of is Professor Jeremiah plus I took a, a leaf out of my New Year resolution which said uh, gotta try English blends and other blends not just aromatics here is old Professor Sutliff which uh, Professor Jeremiah said he really liked and it's one of his favorite stable ones. I read about it, looked at a video or two and thought, got to try it. So I put that in uh, the last of my Christmas haul of new pipes, which is this lovely Rattray's Real Deal. Thank you, Cas. Cassidy Piper, a real deal Rattray pipe. You can see the Rattray logo there, and it's a Nimbus model in that shape with a narrower chamber. It's probably very good for flakes as well, but uh, Old Professor is uh, um, a ribbon cut, you know, or well, they call coarse cut, but sort of a mix anyway. So trying that out, good stuff, and to light it, I just put, put the light away, didn't I, to light it, oh, I didn't realize it had a strobe, is a red coat's return lighter. I got these actually very cheaply made engraved. They're not uh, Zippos of course, they're some sort of no-name star or something like that. Chinese make but um, put my grommets on the outside and the inside and rewove the uh, the wick and uh, working pretty good. I'm going to have to drill a hole in, in this side because that's not, you just need that for pipe smoking so that will be a little project for me with my Dremel to put a hole in the side of this lighter. Great stuff.
lot. Well, actually, it's um, I have made the alarming discovery that there's almost no tobacco I, I don't like, or it happens, but it's not that common. Um, so I quite like the English blends. I knew that was in the past. Um, this one, so this is a Latakia Turkish Oriental Virginia from Sutliff and it's um, in my opinion the, the uh, Turkish Oriental is a bit forward in this one. It's got a sort of woody smokiness to it from the Latakia, so it's definitely there. Some people thought the Latakia was uh, more forward, but for me, uh, I quite like Orientals. It depends a bit, because an Oriental always conjures up anything from church incense to toilet cleaner, you know, some, somewhere in that, in that range. And m most, most of, in tobacco, most things that I've tried are more to, towards the church incense. You can imagine this smoke wafting around in some Balkan, you know, Greek, um, Russian Orthodox Church or Serbian Orthodox Church or something like that. And if it's actually a nice descent level, I, I really like it. Really like it. Using a Jack the Piper tamper in this jeweler's brass, I just love his work. And couldn't resist it. As you know, Jack uh, makes these lovely rings and a silver one I've shown before. I couldn't resist it. Uh, shouldn't have done it really, but uh, can't resist it because they're so beautiful. I got this lovely gold version. I don't know if you can. See, that's absolutely beautiful. Same model and everything. Had it engraved on the inside, the doctor. And uh, it's absolutely beautiful. Put it on the wrong finger, didn't I? Anyway. There we go. Absolutely beautiful. I got the oval model again because I just like the look of that. But basically, if you would pay for that retail in a sort of jewellery shop, I'm sure it would cost you nearly twice as much as what Jack charges for his work. And uh, we've all seen what he does and uh, how much time that takes. And that, of course, uh, you know, is. Uh, why anyway jewellery is uh, expensive it's it's not only the precious metals so I'm very very happy with that but it's actually a really nicely balanced superbly balanced uh, English blend I think I could smoke this anytime all day smoke and uh, quite understand why Professor Jeremiah favours this so much. Nine millimeter filter in here, but plenty of the nice subtle flavors are coming through. Not a hint of a bite. I think the Virginia is the furthest back, back. so um, it's probably a lesser amount of Virginia in there. There's a bit of sweetness coming from it. There's no toppings on this at all, um, as there shouldn't be really with the English blend. But it's not any kind of crossover. There's there's some. It comes a bit moist, you know. I think Sutliff are quite generous with humectants and stuff like that. And I maybe should have dried this a little bit before you know 20 minutes or 15 minutes something like that I just jarred it all up yesterday I had a whole ton of different tobaccos that came in from my Christmas uh, Nirvana of uh, 
buying bulk tobaccos, but I've jarred them all up. So as a, a first impression, me and old professor are going to be good friends, you know. You know, well behaved, you know, you won't hurt yourself, you can't probably tongue bite yourself if you try. Um, it's got all the qualities of a, a codger blunt, you, you just put it in, load it, light it and you're off. But it's in English and um, I'm rather fond of that, uh, just as much as I like a moderate amount of Latakia, I like these um, Turkish Orientals, it's kind of uh, bright and lemony, it's a good morning pipe I think actually with the Orientals, for me personally. For the inaugural flight of my new pipe it's doing, doing very well I think. Packed it a little bit too hard, but as I said, um, it's partly because there was uh, a bit more moisture in there that there should have been. I'm going to have to discipline myself to take 15 minutes to let the tobacco breathe a bit and and just dry out that little bit. It makes so much difference and uh, keep uh, rushing into a new tobacco without giving it a chance to equilibrate. Here we go, classical. Got a new shed whiskey here. If you like a drop of Irish whiskey, I can recommend Green Spot. It'll really find the spot in you, me old friend. Sort of whiskey that the leprechauns like to drink themselves. Well actually that's not quite true. Uh, it's, a, it's a little dry this whiskey so um, I sometimes do use it for mixing but uh, you know I like sweeter more mild balance whiskies. I like Irish whiskies a bit more from uh, Scottish ones for that reason because I don't like that peat background and sometimes the dryness of Scottish whiskies but this one is a, an odd Irish one because it's a bit more like like those dry uh, scotches um, but occasionally I was drinking it and I just got a I must have had this bottle about six, seven years, you know. But the last bit I think I will consume here in the shed with a bit of iced tea works absolutely perfect. Although my New Year's res resolution means that will only happen Friday, Saturday, or on special occasions. And you know what happens. You end up having special occasions every week. Oh well. Another tobacco that I got in my haul, uh, and I, sna I snapped as soon as I saw that they had some Garwith and Hogarth on smoking pipes, which is not so common, was this Kentucky Nougat, which uh, I saw great write ups about and uh, thought I must try that one. And. Uh, that's going to be a beautiful aromatic to try at some point. So this year I think much more about smoking what I've got on the shelf. But it's so tempting isn't it? Uncle Phil just did a lovely video about HU Director's Cut and said he gives it 5 out of 5 which he doesn't do very often and the description made it so delicious but I'm just trying to resist that now because uh, I think really it's uh, time to look at my store which is like a tobacconist, you know, it's, I've got so much and just work my way through that. It's an absolutely a lovely English blend. Well done, Professor. I, I 
might have taken me years to find this one. And uh, I must say Sutliff, they, they impressed me. The diversity and value for money in their tobaccos is quite extraordinary. Right, not to ramble on this one, just wanted to make sure everyone realises I have not jumped off a bridge or uh, am not marooned in uh, the twilight zone. I think that happens a lot in time travel, that you, you end up on another minusculely different timeline, you know, because they're infinite, the variations. So I've upped my computer calculations from the 20th decimal place to the 100th decimal place. That should nail it. At least I hope. Anyway, you all look after yourselves out there. Take care and um, cheers is the our next chat in my next video. Bye bye.